Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process on how to clean an aquarium. And I'm just going to show you a step-by-step -step process on how to change the water um, and how to clean your, your gravel. And also some tips on cleaning your filters and changing your filters and so forth. So I just wanted to kind of give you a step-by-step -step process on how this works. And that way your aquarium will be... Um, a healthier environment for your fish and um, as you can see I have a blue cat right there a sunfish right there and then a bass kind of in the back right there this is a 56 gallon aquarium uh, so anyway well we'll get at it the first thing you want to do guys is make sure that you get a suction um, tube looking thing and this is good for many purposes because it allows you to change the water so it drains the water out of your aquarium and then also it has little valves here um, these blue valves which allow you to um, also put water back into the aquarium so this is definitely something good to invest in especially when you have bigger aquariums like pretty much over 50 gallons you want to get something like this um, so, like I said, it's a water changer. It also cleans the gravel at the very bottom of your aquarium um, and collects all the dirt and bad bacteria. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and attach this part here um, to a hose spigot out here, and then we'll be set to go. All right, so the next thing that you want to do is... Um, I went ahead and just hooked up, like I said, um, to the water spigot outside, and uh, I turned off the filters. The only thing I have on are the lights so I can accurately see um, where some of the dirt is on the bottom. So what you want to do is you want to put your um, the hose um, down against the gravel part, okay, just enough. You can't tamp on a stool depending on how high your, you know, your aquarium is. You just want to press against the bottom and then come up like this. And this is all you're pretty much going to do, like this. And like I said, it pretty much just cleans the dirt. Um, that way the fish are healthy. And you're pretty much just going to do this all the way around the tank. pull up my sleeve here so I'll have a lot more room to get down in there but you kind of get an idea of what I'm doing um, and you just want to make sure you just pretty much get the dirt so you should be able to kind of see the gravel come up and also the dirt that is coming up through this suction here And that's your next step, guys. Hey, and also make sure when you do the suction part, you actually have the you actually have the water turned on, because um, it won't work accurately accurately if you uh, don't have it turned on. Thanks. All right, guys. As you can see, I've already changed the water here. Um, really, you just need to do about 20, really you just need to do about twenty five percent. But it looks like I probably went maybe three fifths or so. Um, but like I said, you want to make sure you get about 25%, and then you just want to make sure you vacuum like I did. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add water back into the tank, and then add some solution and everything to make it more clear and healthy. All right, guys. Um, so I've already showed you the water change. Now what I'm going to do is just show you how to add water back into the tank. So you'll see a little um, lever valve here. If you turn it um, to the right, it's going to push water. See the water kind of coming back in to the tank. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the tank. All right, you can go ahead and show it. All right, guys, I already showed you how to change that that little valve, you know, move it to the right to get the water back going into the aquarium, and this is what it does, brings water back into the aquarium. 
Okay. Now, what you want to do while that's running is you want to get your solution. Okay. That will remove um, the chlorine and other, you know, bacteria, bad bacteria that's in your tank. Um, and this will help produce a more healthy environment for your fish. So what I did is I got the prime solution. Um, Ty Conkel actually recommended this, that I get this, because it also provides a slime coat for your fish. That way, you know, they don't have any flaky skin or anything, and it's just healthier, you know, for your fish. Um, so what I'm going to go, go ahead and do is put a, you only want to fill this up to the cap, okay? And you'll have to read the back of the bottle to make sure you have, you follow the, the directions of what it says on how many, you know, how many capfuls you take and so forth. So depending on what brand and what kind of stuff you get. So, so I'll go ahead and add that here in a second. But anyway, you get the idea of, what, of how this works. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, just make sure you leave a comment. Um, but this is pretty much how you change water and, you know, vacuum the gravel of your aquarium. One last thing I wanted to show you guys is that you can clean your filters. Um, that way you don't have to spend gobs of money, you know, buying new filters every two, three weeks. Um, you can just clean them like this using your hands and it gets all the bacteria off and it almost looks not brand spanking new, but good enough that it can probably go another round or two. So that's just another thing that I learned from my good friend Todd that you can do um, to clean your filters.